welcome to part two of making blackberry wine. If you missed part one, head on over here, or you can skedaddle off to my playlist and see everything. At this point, seven days have passed. Let's time travel back into the kitchen. I'm going to go through a couple of things that you are going to need. Let's start with proper attire. You are going to want to wear something that you do not mind getting blackberry stains all over because accidents happen. Trust me, it's splashing, crap gets on the floor. It, it just happens. Especially because you're going to be dealing with one of these bags. I highly re recommend getting one of these uh, it's a mesh bag. You can get them at brewing, brew, brewing, brewing supplies. You can also use a pillowcase. I used a pillowcase one year, and it it wasn't wasn't open enough, so it was really, really hard to squeeze all of the juice out of the out of the berries. I can talk today, I swear. Then uh, you can get these bubblers. These they come in different types. There's this kind. What you do is you fill it with water and a little bit of sterilizer and it will uh, keep all the bad stuff out and still let the gases release so that you don't have an explosion. Um, there are, oh, this kind I like more because there is, um, I don't know, I just feel like it's, ew, what's in there? I may have to go with another word. There is actually something in there. I'm gonna have to clean this one again. <laughs> Um, yeah, you want to make sure there is nothing, everything is, everything again, everything that the wine touches needs to get sterilized. Use this one-step stuff, it's just super easy, it's just this stuff that you mix it up for the container directions and then you don't even need to rinse, you just swoosh it all around or dunk it in there, let it go, so easy. These ones I like because it, you fill it up with water and it just passes between the two chambers. I just I just find it cleaner. I like them. So uh, then you will need stoppers. You can get different types of stoppers. There's this kind, and then there's just this kind. I prefer this kind with a little bit of the lip in it because I used this kind one time and I lost a whole carboy to it and uh, some of my wine because uh, this got stuck inside like the neck of the carboy and I could not get it out. It broke glass, so don't recommend that kind. I recommend this kind with a little, it's longer, has a little lip. You can actually really grab onto it and pull much better. You're gonna need another bucket. This just makes it easier. Have to, having two brewing buckets going from one to the other, because you're going to, what we're going to do is now we're going to squeeze all the berries out. This stuff is in there, that's why I'm gesturing. Uh, we're gonna squeeze all the berries out and uh, transfer that juice to another bucket basically. And then we're going to measure. I think that's everything. Let's uh, start getting the berries out of the bucket. No, 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 Ken, Kenzie, come back. You didn't, you didn't finish. You didn't finish telling them that after removing the berries, you need to get the juice from the second bucket into the carboy or demijohn, that glass thing. That's what's called racking through the rubber tube. Okay, it's fine. Nami crust. Ooh, look how active it is still. Look at all those bubbles. It's amazing.
And now for the sciency part. I know, I know, but I can't have you in here right now. If you care about ABV or the alcohol by volume, we need to take an initial reading using a hydrometer. Put your hydrometer in the liquid and give it a spin. Note that number and keep it in a very safe place. You're going to need it in a few months. Before bottling, you will do the same thing and then use this formula to determine your ABV percentage. Original gravity minus your final gravity times 131.25. Normally you would want to be sitting around 1.02 before racking. In this case, we're at 1.06. Keep stirring every 24 hours until it comes down more, but I think we're fine. Do not pour the liquid you removed back into your musk. You will contaminate it. There. You gotta check these every once in a while because they will work them they will work their way up. Now we wait for six months, or in my timeline, it's gonna be about February before we bottle this, and I will update this playlist. And uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy last year's wine, drink responsibly, and I will see you next time. You know, freaking wine, I got it. I